Hey Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tower 888. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright guys, so we're going to get into this channel message reading. I'm not sure what's going to come out, so take only what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit the subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of the Scorpio Nation. Remember, this is general. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? All right, so let's get into this message. Spirit angels and guides, please protect my energy as I open the spiritual portal for Scorpio. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye witchcraft, anything that's not of my highest good, ask that you return the energy back to sender tenfold. So what it be, amen and amen. So as you guys see, this card flipped out. So this is high level soulmate. Okay. So some of you guys are about to meet a high-level soulmate. This is a divine masculine, a divine feminine, emperor, empress type of energy. High-level soulmate, okay? All right, so let's talk about it, okay? Let's get into it. So spirit, angels, and guys, tell me about this high-level soulmate for Scorpio. Tell me about this high-level soulmate for Scorpio. Show me what I need to see. Tell us about high-level soulmate. And also, guys, make sure that you have your notification bell on. So that's where you can be aware is when video posts and also when I go live, okay? And, of course, if you need a personal reading, all of that information, all of my links will be down in my description box, all right? All right, let's get into it. I'm kind of feeling under the weather a little bit today, guys. So if I seem a little sluggish or <sighs> may feel like I'm moving a little slow or eh, I'm in that energy. But, you know, I want to make sure that I get my messages out for you guys, okay? Tell me about high-level soulmate. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Thank you. Ooh. Huh. All right, so Ten of Swords. Tell me more. Thank you. All right, so we got the King of Wands. Okay, so that's the Divine Feminine, excuse me, Divine Masculine Energy. Tell me more. High level soulmate. Thank you. All right, so we have the Strength card. So this high level soulmate can be a Leo. This may have been someone that you may have manifested. So this card actually flipped out as well. So Magician Energy, Gemini, Strength card, Leo, King of Wands, also, uh, well, I'll say Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance Energy. This person, this high-level soulmate is going to come to you in divine timing. Could be around Sagittarius season with the Temperance Sagittarius. Okay. Right up under the Temperance card is the Six of Cups. So this may be a past life soulmate or someone that you're familiar with. Whoever this is, seems like someone wants to make things right with you, but fears that they're going to be rejected. But we're going to see. Hmm. I feel like you've been manifesting someone or someone's been manifesting you. Hmm. What is this Ten of Swords? Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Oh. We got the King to the Queen of Wands here. So a divine couple. Fire sign couple here. So this Queen was backstabbed and betrayed. Hmm. Tell me more. Both of you guys can have fire signs very strong and heavy in your chart. Your top three. All right. So seven of pentacles. Whatever this betrayal was, it caused you to move on. You left the situation. You've been waiting patiently on someone. You feel like they just did you wrong.
It's like you invested into this King of Wands and they did you wrong. They betrayed you, hurt you. It was a horrible ending. Mm. What is the King of Wands? Thank you. Four of Cups. This Divine Masculine Energy feels like if they take action to come towards you. That you want to reject them. Hmm. Thank you. So we have the Two of Swords and the Hangman here. Pisces Energy. Come on, guys. Let me move this around. So Hangman and the Two of Swords. Hmm. It's almost like this masculine energy is kind of feeling a little stuck because some of you guys may have blocked this person in some way, shape, or form. You may have blocked them. And they feel like if they, yeah, if they come towards you that you're going to reject them. Yeah, someone here is feeling left out in the cold. This King of Wands here. Someone could have cheated on you. You guys could have been married. Or this person was, um, or I will say is getting punished. You're giving someone the silent treatment because of the way they hurt you. Wow. This masculine doesn't know what to do. They're at a crossroads. Because they feel like if they come to you, you're going to reject them. They hurt you. Yeah. What's the magician? What's the magician when it comes to high level soulmate? Thank you. Page of Pentacles. Someone is manifesting you here. They're manifesting you. That Page of Pentacles is kind of giving me this person's trying to manifest you. Manifest some type of communication. Yeah, Spirit says that's the truth. This person's trying to manifest you here. Hopefully, that you guys can have like a conversation or. Start over. Tell me more about the magician. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Yeah, this masculine is like stuck and don't know what to do. Feels like you're not going to hear him or her out. Thank you. Yeah, a fire sign here. Aries. Hmm. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Some of you guys were married. And this person could have cheated on you in the marriage. And you felt betrayed from that. This person is stressing out. Because of a separation, a divorce, or something like that. They want to come towards you to make up to you. This could be a cancer with both water signs here. Could be a cancer or they have cancer somewhere within their chart. Or maybe Pisces as well. But someone is wanting to come see you, travel to come to you. Someone is coming from a distance. But they want to make up to you. Show you how much they love you. Someone here is, oh my gosh, this person is in a lot of guilt, remorse, regret because you're now you're no longer in that queen of wands energy you in this mean girl mean guy energy you know you don't set some strong boundaries and they have a lot of regret they feel so stuck here i'm getting a lot of stuck energy you feel like this person is not committed to you or they're non-committal wow so i'm getting strong leo here gemini aries pisces just acts on the table just the cancer energy is what i saw in the in the deck so it's like they're manifesting for you guys to start over. For this person to be your husband, wife again. Where they can be the leader of the family. What is the strength card? Yeah, a lot of fire signs here. Tell me about the strength card. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Clarify. 
clarify the shrimp card. What's the final messages when it comes to high level soulmate? And I really believe this is why it's a high level soulmate because you both you guys are the king to the queen of wands. That's divine feminine, divine masculine. Six of wands here, and we also have the seven of cups. So we have the number 77 here that can resonate with you or this person. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups here, soulmate. High level soulmate. I feel like you're in that strength energy. You're holding back from this person. You're holding back from giving them any type of attention. Because you feel like they brought too much confusion. Maybe this person dealt with other people. While you guys were in a relationship. So you had no choice but to walk away. Move on with your life. But whoever this is, they want a new beginning in love with you. But they're dragging their feet because they know they're going to have to tell you the truth about any other connections that they had with the Capricorn energy with the devil. They're going to have to tell you the truth of any type of toxicity that they did behind the scenes. And how they turned their back on you. Backstab and betrayed you. And now this person is spying on you. Ever since you closed off emotionally. They're still holding on to you, even though, you know, there was a tired moment that happened in the relationship where they were giving to other people, giving to other situations. They want to talk about them coming towards you. This person is heartbroken here. They're trying to find their way back to you. They're in their feelings because you are their wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. The high priestess, you're giving them the silent treatment. They don't like that. They're missing you. Wanted to talk. They feel left out in the cold. Wanted to take this leap of faith towards their divine feminine energy they high level soul maybe we have the imp already here now the empress yeah they want to heal things with you they want to get back together reconcile ace of swords that's the truth yeah it's the truth and clarity so yeah if you're holding back because it was too much bullshit going on they were dealing with other people getting attention from others you're like nah i don't i'm not about to continue to entertain that so this masculine energy, whoever this king of wands is, and the emperor, this is definitely a fire sign here. They're trying to manifest you back. And they may just have Gemini, Pisces, somewhere within their chart. Yeah. They know that they hurt you. They betrayed you and on so many levels. Disrespected the marriage, the relationship. Caused you to feel like they're non-committal. So that's why they don't know what to do. Because they feel like if they do approach you with any type of offer... They know that you're going to shut them out. You're not going to want to talk, say anything. They made you wait. Mm. Wow. All right, collectors. So this is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys on the next reading. Bye-bye.